What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and I currently have bronchitis so if my boy sounds all jacked up that is why but I want to make sure I continue to keep you up to speed on everything going on in the game because unfortunately for many players out there the game is completely and totally unplayable however it seems to be primarily affecting people on PlayStation in the North America region but in today's video I'd like to take a few moments talk about what's going on the response from the game and as always answer some of the questions you've sent the channel. So the first thing I'd like to mention as we start this video off my friends is that I primarily play an Xbox and for me I've had zero problems whatsoever and you know I do have a PlayStation character but since I really never touched that character I'm not affected by what's going on but one thing I've always promised to do with the channel is to try to keep you up to speed on all things going on in the Division universe because I know many of you out there use YouTube as your primary source of information for all things Division which is why I'm making this follow up video to one I posted yesterday. Now thankfully we did hear from the game directly and you can see they said the following we are currently addressing a range of UI glitches missing textures and loading issues affecting players on PlayStation we will keep you posted on the fixes now I am going to jump to that page right now but I will leave a link to it in the video description down below and starting at the top we have the following critical issues that are being addressed some weapons and attachments have missing textures talent icons are not being displayed correctly Missing HUD elements, we know that's going on. Missing main menu and specialization menu UI issues. I will show you all this stuff in a moment, by the way. That now takes us to the loading screen being stuck at 9% for many people out there. And at the bottom, the characters do not load in the character selection. Now, one thing they fail to mention on this list is that even if you happen to get into the game, it doesn't matter because you cannot pick up any loot whatsoever. I mean, you'll see in a second, there's some gameplay footage I recorded. And again, to be clear, you know, this is not affecting everyone. And you can see based on a survey I put out out yesterday at the channel it's really split 50 50 you have half the people who cannot play and again that seems to be in the north american region however at the same time you have 50 percent of the players saying hey i've got no problems and that's a great thing you know again i want to make sure i let you know exactly what's going on in the game now i'm going to leave you with some gameplay footage with my commentary of exactly what i've noticed so far and as we jump to that footage i want to thank you all for helping me create a toxic free gaming environment at the channel because look people are rightfully upset with what's going on but one thing I noticed in all of the comments I received is that no one is just bashing individuals. People are pissed off. They should be. I mean, something like this is a major issue. I mean, I do not know how long it's going to take to fix it. Again, once I hear anything from the game, I will let you know right away. But I want you to know how much I truly appreciate the fact that we can have a conversation here and not just get hurtful or hateful. That's the important stuff. I mean, you know, we don't have to agree on everything. I mean, what the f do I know? I don't know much. But, I, you know, anyway, thank you all so much. Let's jump right into the gameplay, my fellow agents. All right, so it's still a mess, unfortunately. It seems only when I have the Scorpio equipped, I think that's the only weapon that's not showing up in my hand. My God, my voice must sound awful. My voice is like cracking. This is when I can do maybe a Sean Connery voice. Or maybe Bane. No, that's too high pitch. It doesn't matter who we are. All right. Um, yeah, so visuals, you know, I said this in a video yesterday. The visuals don't matter. This is what matters right here, okay? You're playing the game, you're downed, you cannot reload, you cannot uh, respawn, excuse me, that's what I meant to say. You can't do any of that stuff. All you can do is actually log out and log in. Now keep in mind, through everything I'm saying right now, even if you actually get into the game, it doesn't matter, you can't pick up any loot. So I know people are frustrated they can't even log in. It doesn't matter if you can log in or not, because you, you, there's no point in playing. Uh, we did hear from the game this morning thankfully and at this point we do not have a timeline on when it's going to be fixed i'm hoping later today we do hear something we'll see what happens now at this point in the gameplay you know i saw my character on the loading screen i was hoping maybe it was fixed but you can see here look it up throwing up the number one sign i'm number one baby that's me holding the scorpio but the scorpio is invisible one thing i want to point out is you can still get resources you know you can see i picked up a few um components there got some painkillers for the aching in my soul for all of you playstation only players out there a lot of you are wondering are they going to extend the golden bullet golden bullet i'm sorry the uh guardians global event i hope they do because it's a 
It, it's a lot of fun. I got to tell you. And what's funny is this. Well, not funny, but coincidentally, yesterday morning I recorded a video talking about the Guardians Global event, how much fun it is. And it's insanely fun. Like, it really is. Because they added some buffs with Project Resolve. And we'll get into talking about Project Resolve in a moment. But about five minutes before I posted the video, I decided to go to the Twitter page of The Division and look at um, any comments from, you know, anytime the game makes that announcement, the maintenance has been complete. Look at that. Is that a unicorn? That's amazing. You know, I want to check out the comment section. And man, I'm glad I did because that would have been, you know, pretty terrible to make a video on like, yeah, it's the best event ever when, you know, a lot of people can't play. So I do hope they extend it. I have no idea if they're going to or not. We'll see what happens, but I hope they do. Now, when we we're talking about Project Resolve, you know, unfortunately, if you're a Division player, uh, we deal with these issues, and we have for a long time. Anytime there's an update, it seems like something else is broken, and it's unfortunate. One thing I will say about Project Resolve, in my opinion, and please let me know what you think, but if you're a day one player like myself, one thing we encountered over the last few years, especially over the last few years, is when we do have a major issue going on, it takes the game a very, very, very long time to not only respond, but to actually implement a fix. Now, one thing we have seen since Project Resolve was introduced is a much faster response time. Now, ideally, we'd like to see these issues not there at all, of course. No one's disputing that. But... I'm happy that we're getting a much quicker response. But when stuff like this happens, um, it's really bad. It's really bad for the game. It's really bad for the community because we do not have a lot of people playing the game right now. And if you're a new and returning player and this is your first experience with the game in a while, you're thinking, what's the point? Like, I thought Project Resolve was here to, you know, fix these issues and they're even more prevalent than ever. No one's happy about this. No one at the team is like, oh, this is awesome. This is the best day ever. It's, this sucks for everyone. That, that's Again, as I said before, no one's disputing that. And I'm pretty sure I will mention this in my intro, but I want to make sure if I didn't, I want to let you know how much I appreciate what we've created here at the channel. Because, you know, I, I did a video yesterday. If you missed that, I, I, I'm not going to leave a link because I'm going over all this stuff right now. Um... But we've been able to create something here that is toxic-free. And I say that because clearly this is some messed up shit right now. You know what I mean? But in the comment section of the video I posted yesterday, there was no hate. There was no anger. There was no people are pissed off. There was anger. But you're, you're not bashing individuals. And I appreciate that. Because that's not going to get us anywhere. You know what I mean? We can be frustrated. We can disagree. But the fact that we can do that and have a conversation, that's a big deal. Especially on YouTube. That's a big-ass deal. So, thank you. Thank you, my friends. On that note, I am going to start to wrap this up because I need to save my voice. I want to record a few more videos this week. Well, I'll, I'll be covering the global event, you know. Um, it's not just going to be this new stuff. We'll be going over some builds, things like that. I'll keep you posted, obviously, on any updates we get as soon as we get them. That's going to do it for this one, my friends. No workaround so far. I've tried to log out, log in, you know, hard reset, all that stuff. Jump from the dark zone to just everything. Tried everything whatsoever. Nothing seems to work. As I said before, if you have any other questions I did not address in this video, please let me know. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. Talk to you soon, everybody. Thanks again. Supply room access unlocked.
have received an invite to another agent's group. Access granted. Transmission range limited. Proximity coverage only. Proximity coverage only. Cleared. 